not answer it. Father, we thank you for answers to prayers. Thank you for every operation push. Thank you for answers you're giving to us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for grace, for prayer and supplication. Thank you again for tonight. Thank you for doing more than we can ask God say. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' excellent name. Please put your beautiful hands together for Jesus. The God of heaven We give you an answer of peace. You may be seated. This is our operation post tonight. Pray until something happens. Something good will definitely happen in your life. Tonight we'll be looking at this subject. Oh Lord, I am oppressed. Undertake for me. Precious people of God, God is still in the business of undertaking for his people. God will undertake for you. <laughs> and when God undertakes for one, your cares, your burdens are taken care of. I know when God handles and takes over a thing, it, an issue, the issue is indeed over. God will take over that issue. God will undertake for you in that issue. When do I ask God to undertake for me speedily? That's the question any writing person will be asking. Now we'll answer it. When things are overwhelming, when forces stronger than you are contending with you, you need to say, Father, undertake for me. When you don't understand the way things are going anymore, you need to ask, Father, undertake for me. When you don't know what else to do, <laughs> Joseph has said, God, we don't know what to do. Our eyes are on you. When you don't know what else to do, you need to ask God to undertake for you. When your efforts seem not to be getting the required results, when help looks perfect and think Things six by force and power. You need to cry, Father, undertake for me. When it seems all hope is lost and there seems to be no light in the tunnel, you need to ask, Father, undertake for me speedily. When it seems your world is crashing over, when the mockers are mocking, you need to pray this prayer. When all doors seem close, when it's like Quitting is the next option. You need to cry, Father, undertake for me speedily. When it seems the whole world is meaningless and turning against you, you need to cry, God, undertake for me. When you want to see better things than what you're experiencing now, you need to ask, God, undertake for me. My Father, undertake for me. When the enemy comes as a flood against you, you need to cry. Father, undertake for me. No, Peter was sinking. He said, Jesus, help me. Undertake for me. Jesus, help me. When shame looms and everyone is asking, where is your God? You need to ask, Father, undertake for me. When your source of progress, advancement in life and endeavor is stagnated, you need to cry this cry of faith by praying, Father, undertake for me. When you are oppressed, weak, and helpless, you better cry like Ezekiah. Father, undertake for me speedily. What a testimony here last Sunday. Somebody said, you was due for promotion, to be promoted to a director level. And because somebody is already there, they, they, they blocked him. They didn't want to interview him. No promotion for him. But God helped the board of the same organization uh, by favor. After prayers was made for him here, God made a way for him to be promoted. Even with the promotion, they sat on the thing to release the letter to him. And Pastor Nye came and decreed that whatever is holding this will be released. And that letter of promotion was released. Now, anything that belongs to you that the enemy is sitting on, I command them to be released. The same God of heaven will undertake for you. Mm -hmm. So, to undertake here connotes one, 
God taking over your battles. God taking over your battles. In other words, God fighting for you. God fighting for you. I had another testimony during the third service here yesterday. Somebody said the land he paid for was you know, about to be taken from him because the man decided to say the same. God, he tested to pastor. God, pastor said God will fight for you. In other words, God will undertake for you. And the short of the story is that he had recovered his land back. God will undertake for you. What belongs to you that the enemy has stolen, I command you to be restored. God taking over your battle. That's what happened to Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah. God took over their battle. Remember, Jehoshaphat said in the Second Chronicles 20 verse 12, we don't have might against the people, neither know we what to do, but our eyes on you. In verse 17, God prescribed to them. He said, you don't need to fight in this battle. Set yourself and you will see the salvation of God. And God now told them to appoint singers. When they appointed singers, God took over. God set ambushment against all their enemies. And at the end of the day, none of their enemies escaped. They found you no know, gold and silver in the dead bodies. Three days they took, packing the spoils. Hallelujah. God undertook for them. God will undertake for you. Number two, to undertake means God representing your interests. I like this one. Eh? And I want you to like it. Because there are places you cannot enter. There are places decisions are being taken that you can't enter to speak for yourself. But when God is representing you, <laughs> they can't work against you. God representing your interests. You want to go for visa. God goes ahead of you. I say, this person come and give him visa. They just look at I just like your tie. Take. That's what other people will go there. They stay days. Nothing. That is God going before you and bulldozing the way. He takes risk on your behalf. Now, God can move people to take risks on your behalf. People can hazard their life. People can do anything to make sure you get what you want. That's when God is representing your interest. God is undertaking for you. Something happened in the life of David. David has some mighty men. And one day David said, I needed to drink the water from Bethlehem. And Bethlehem was in the garrison of the Philistines. And some of these mighty men said, David wants this water. They went, they fought through the garrison of the prison, passed, went, fetched that water, passed again with fight, and came back to David and brought the water. Do you know what it is? Do you know what is holding water in your hand? And they say, We're not speak. And fighting. When they brought it to David, David looked at it. He said, This is the blood of men. This is not water. This is the blood of men. He said, People hazarding themselves, going out the extra mile to make sure that. Something good or what you want happens. That's when God is representing your interest. I pray from today, God of heaven will represent your interest. So when you see God representing your interest, it means he's undertaking for you. Number three, when God's defense and intervention, God's defense and intervention in your favor by contending with stronger forces contending with you. God's defense and intervention in your favor by contending with stronger forces contending with you there are people who are stronger than you who may have come against you maybe they've taken what belongs to you taking your property maybe sat on your promotion or whatever but you see when god undertakes for you he intervenes in your favor and contend with forces stronger than you one day it was in enugu we are in church praising god dancing praising god a woman was being called on the phone inside the church. When the thing was too much, she went outside to take it. What was it? The brother-in-law who sees a three-story building the husband left behind for 26 years was under <laughs> divine you know, oppression. And he decided to release the house back to the woman. That was it. God contending with those who are stronger than you. God will contend for you in the name of Jesus. Now, we have this story in Isaiah 37, 35 to 38. A man called Sennacherib, who said that nobody has ever, no country has ever survived in his hand, sent his servant to 
Ezekiah. For you, he said, Look, nobody can, no God has ever delivered anybody from my hand. And Hezekiah was suffering. He went to the temple. He, he, he brought the letter and showed to God, Read. You know what God said? He said, Don't worry about this man. The same way he came, he will return back. He will not enter this city because I made this city a defense city. And the short of the story is that God raised an angel. One night, he went and killed 180,000 soldiers of Sennacherib. He became afraid. He turned back. And before you know it, he had news. That's why sometimes when I pray for you, your enemies will lose focus on you. <laughs> he had news about another fight. He left that place. But when he went home, his own children killed him. Now hear me. God of heaven will intervene for you. He will undertake for you. Number four, it means undeniable help of God. Undeniable help of God. There is no man in this world that doesn't need the help of God. It doesn't matter how strong you think you are. You need the help of God. Because when God removes his help, your nakedness can be seen. God forbid. Paul said, Paul that was going to heaven and coming, he said, I have continued to this day because of the help of God. As 26, verse 26. They have obtained the help of God. I continue to this day. You need the help of God to avoid shame. Isaiah 50, 7 to 9. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justified me who will contend with me. Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is it that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wash old as a garment. The more shall eat them up. Please note, it is one thing to get help, yet another to get it on time. God will give you early help. In the name of Jesus. Speedy help in the name of Jesus. God gives early help or speedy help. He said he will give he, the God of heaven is our refuge and our strength and our present help in trouble. God will intervene speedily for you. God is in the midst of her, verse 5. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. See that in Psalm 46, 1 and 5. God will help her right early. Right early. That is early and speedy undertaken by God for you. Something happened today. I believe that young man will come and share his testimony on Sunday. If he will come and share his testimony, I believe. A young man came to my office today and he said, after yesterday's service, he had that he just discovered he doesn't have a father. That he wants me to be his father. Uh, and in that being the father, I see the problem on hand here first. Now, working with the World Health Organization, there's an opening that will make him and even in millions and he applied for this like any other person he, be, he was one of the best in the country but they denied him and said that he's not qualified the level he is he's not qualified to apply for that position so they kept the things for since last year and he said sir i need this thing i need this position it will help me a lot i said okay we prayed. I said they will give it to you. They will not have option. They will give it to you. They will change the rules to give it to you. Now, before he got to his office, today, today, or not yesterday, before he got to his office today, they were calling him that they need your CV in Abuja. They need your CV. They need your CV. Now, he has not read the office. His boss helped him to organize the CV and send. Now, this evening, he brought the contract out of many in this nation that applied for that job, they brought the, he, he brought the contract. He said, I won't sign it until you see it that day. Just before the service, he brought the contract to show me. That's God undertaking for someone speedily. Hear me. God of heaven will undertake for you speedily. So the question now is, what must I do for God to undertake for me speedily? What must I do? And that the answer is prayer of faith. Say with me, prayer of faith. 
Many pray, but they don't pray with faith. Prayer of faith. Look at that Isaiah 38 verse 14 where we took as our test. Hezekiah prayed. It was, it was a constraining prayer. How do I know it was a constraining prayer of faith? Oh Lord. Oh, that word oh means a lot. It didn't just say Lord. Oh Lord. I'm oppressed on that text for me. Now I want to ask you a question. There's no time even you pray this kind of prayer that God will not hear. Have you had a situation before that is like between life and death? That if tomorrow comes, shame will come if God doesn't answer this. Check the way you pray that day. It's different from the way you pray other days. Now the question is, did God answer you or not? He answered. So it depends on how you pray the prayer. It's not just praying. Anybody can pray. But how do you pray? The faith content in your prayer is vital. I've told us here, in prayer, there are three vital contents. And that's what determines the answers you get. The word content in the prayer, the faith content in the prayer, and the heart content in the prayer. Oh Lord, I am oppressed on that day for me. And God showed up. At the end of the day, remember he had 15 more years God added to him. 15 more years. That's somebody God himself gave a death sentence. He, by his prayers, God changed his mind. Are you ready to pray tonight? Terminal sicknesses will be here tonight. Oppressions will cease tonight. Long awaited desires will be released tonight. Are you ready to pray? Now, take any position you want to take. If you want to lie down, lie down. You want to sit, uh, you want to walk around. But I ask you to pray from the depth of your heart. Father, on that take for me speedily. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. My father, my father. I have come to you tonight, Lord, on that take for me. In this land, on that take for me. In my ministry, Lord, on that take for me. In my head, in my finances, in my family, on that take for me. Father, I can't do it by my power, by my strength, on that take for me. Send me any help, O oh Lord. Contend with forces stronger than me, O oh Lord. Jesus, on that take for me. He said, O oh Lord, I'm oppressed on that take for me, speedily. Naruzie keke te glotosa gataga. Apa ma bakata brakapata 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 ba. Ekete zuna kata ragata brakoko matata niagato zikata pranagaba. Skata those that delight in war, warring against my destiny. Father, on that take for me speedily. Abra baba tada zeke teke 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 Imbarato zuzu makapra baba baba ekete zina gata mbrana gata bama mbrana gapa na brama kapopo anda zaga taga 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 ta imbama papro kopoto boso koto ekete teria gata mapa mapa na grana gata my father my father on that day for me speedily. Are you praying? Lift your voice. Cry from the depth of your heart. My father, my father. On the day for me, speedily. Reboria gata zeke koka pranda za 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 I am oppressed on the day for me. I'm propoko de gete zuzuko. Atata batata 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 ba. Father, do something tangible in my life today. On the day for me. On the day for me. Abarato zuria. Send me help. For when is the help of man. Ia kata zeke kota bama bana 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 bana
My father, my father, on the day for me speedily in my head, in my marriage, my relationship, Lord, in my finances, on the day for me speedily in my business, in my career, concerning the work of my hand, my father, my father, it avail for me. On that day for me, sweetly, my eyes on you, like the eyes of a man in the hand of a mistress. Lord, I don't know what else to do. On that day for me, sweetly, my banoso bokote brege pete 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 brege Aba ba 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 ba. Akata bana braga bana braga bana braga ta gada ba bo ba ba braga ta braga ba 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 ba. Akata ta 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 ta. Emeka te braga bana braga te braga te 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 te. Azasa na ta zaga ta braga ta boria braga ta braga ta beke te beke te beke te be. Anta za 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 za. O loco to broco se se que te que la gata gana 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 Father on the deck for me My father my father on the deck for me and as ya groco poso ata za 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 E pregete susa parta garusa pragata na kato ba 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 ente 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 I am oppressed on the deck for me. I'm a brother Zezuna ba la ba ma ba 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 ba. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Fire prayer in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, on the deck for me. In the name of Jesus, Father, in this assignment, on the deck for me. In this land, on the take for me. In my family, on the take for me. Jesus, akapanaba mapa papa raga taga 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 taga. Bega bena 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 bega bena. Aba ba 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 ba. Akata da 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 da. Bega da bega da bega da bega. Bega da 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 bega da. My father, my father, on the take for me, 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 on the take for me. Allah bo sara eke keto na para e greni e gada. Oh Lord, I'm a brass on the take for me. Na zunia gata zeke koka plam blang blang legete zuna ba makata ba na ba na bra na gata inga na ta zuna para gato zama kata ba na ga father do something tangible in my life do something tangible in my destiny do something tangible in my heart do something tangible in my ministry as you are the day for me speedily. On that day for me, sweetly, give me a new song to sing. On that day for me, sweetly, give me a new testimony to share. On that day for me, sweetly, wipe away my tears, O oh Lord. Let the mockery of the mockers come to an end, Father. On that day for me, are you sure you are praying? Lift your voice, pray, cry to God in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, on that take for me speedily. On that 
take for me speedily. Ne zuzara pramote ketuna da zagata ke kokata labana ta yiga ta 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 ta. More than I can ask or think, Lord, do for me speedily. On that take for me speedily and do more than I can ever ask or think. Eke te zi ta 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 ta. Eke te ge 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 my father my father on the day for me on the day for me speedily are you sure you are praying lift your voice cry to him my father my father on the day for me speedily in the name of jesus on the day for me speedily and officer no my father on the day for me speedily we're going to give him thanks we're going to give him praise Begin to appreciate him. Magnify him with thanksgiving. My father, my father, thank you for undertaking for me. For doing more than I can ask God. Now rise on your feet. Wave your hand to him. Appreciate him. Give him glory. Give him praise. Father, thank you. Thank you for surprising me. Thank you for doing more than I can ask God.